Hello guys, welcome to my new Changing Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the upcoming new 5-star Animo characters of Shanyan. Shanyan is gonna be the Animo 5-star character and she's from Liu Wei and she's coming in the next, next patch. So, we know everything about Shanyan, about her build, about her weapon, about her abilities, everything. So, in this video, we are gonna talk about the top 5 5-star weapon for Shanyan aka cloud retainer so guys i'm gonna talk about in detail about the all five top five five star weapons for shanin so stay tuned till the end before talking about the weapons just i want to uh, tell you guys one thing that shanin is fully based on the attack percentage the higher you are gonna have attack on shanin the higher she's gonna heal you and higher she's gonna support you or gives you the damage buff so keep in mind keep in mind when you're building your shiny to give her just to just more attack so without wasting any time let's talk about the fifth weapon the number fifth weapon is gonna be the kagura kagura it's a miko's signature weapon uh it's gonna have a base attack of 608 and crit damage of 66.2 percent and as i already told you that uh you know crit rate and crit damage is not that important when you're building your Shanyan but keep in mind to give him uh, give her sorry give her the maximum attack percentage so this weapon already having a 608 base attack makes this weapon very very much useful for uh, Shanyan in refinability this weapon gains the Kagura dance effect when using an elemental skill causing the elemental skill damage of the character wielding this weapon to increase by 12% for 16 seconds you can max stack this to up to 3 this character will gain all elemental damage bonus and they possess all the three stacks. So this weapon is very good for a DPS character but you can use this weapon on a support character like Shani and if you have no other option that's why I put this weapon on number 5. So on number 5 guys we have the Kagura. And guys now on number... Number 4. Guys on number 4 we have the Lost Prayer to the Sacred, Sacred Winds. It's a... Uh, standard weapon in the game since the launch it's my favorite weapon because you can use this weapon literally on any character any dps any sub dps any support character this is a very versatile weapon this having the uh, high base attack of 608 with the 33.1 percent crit rate i love this the refinability is made for every kit increase movement speed by 10 percent when in battle gain and 8% elemental damage bonus every 4 second max stack up to 4 last until the character falls or leaves the combat. Uh, this refinement ability is also kind of so sub DPS and DPS but again you, you can use this sub uh, you can use this weapon on support character as well as you, this will increase your you know movement speed already giving the high base attack of 608 also giving you a little not little uh, average amount of crit rate is 33.1% I'm using this weapon currently on Rio uh, Resli, but uh, you can use this weapon on Shanyan, of course, if you have no other option. That's why I put this weapon on number 4, but yes, this is better than Kagura if you want to use this weapon on Shanyan. So on number 4, guys, we have the Lost Prayer to the Sacred Wind. On number 3, guys, this is my personal favorite weapon. This is a Cash Flow Super Vision. Cash Flow Super Vision, it's a uh, Resli signature's weapon. Giving you the highest base base attack in the game is 7, 674 because Rizli is also attack based on attack percentage. This weapon having the highest base attack is 674 with the 22.1% crit rate. And also the refinement ability kind of helps your Shanian to give you more support on the field. Attack is increased by 16% when the current HP increase or decrease normal attack damage will be increased by 16%. And charge attack damage will be increased by 14%. You can max check this up to 3. This effect can be triggered once every 0.3 second. Uh, the, the wielder has all the 3 stacks. Attack speed will be increased by 8%. This is good for a character like um, who deals damage in the normal attack. And charge attack like the Skaramosh and the Resli. But if you want to use this weapon on Shanyan, you can use it because Shanyan is a sub DPS support character. So if you want to use your Shanyan as a sub DPS, so you can use this, uh, you can use the Shanyan as a sub DPS with this weapon because this weapon increases the normal and charge attack damage and 
as I know, as far as I know, uh, if you want to deal damage with Shining, you have to deal with the plunge attack or the normal and charge attack. So on number three, guys, we have the cash flow of Super Vision. All the three weapons I just talked about, these are the weapons when you have the no other option. Beside that, if you have some other options, you can literally avoid these three weapons. Let's move on to the second weapon, which is the most effective weapon on the Shinian. Okay, guys, on number two, we have the Skyward Atlas. This is having the highest, again, highest base attack in the game. This is 674 with the sub strat of the 33.1 percent attack and this makes this weapon the highest attack percent give attacks giving the weapon in the game increase and in your family ability increase elemental damage bonus by 12 percent normal attack hits have 50 percent chance to return to earn the favor of the clouds which actively seeking out nearby opponent to attack for 15 seconds dealing 160 percent attack damage can only occurs every 30 seconds but keep the Keep in mind this weapon is giving you lots of lots of attack. This weapon also giving you 12% elemental damage bonus, which is very, very good, and also giving you a little AoE damage. Overall, this weapon is very good. If you have if you don't want to go for the signature weapon of uh Shiny End, you can definitely give this weapon to your Shiny End. This is very, very good. That's why I put this weapon on number two. And on number one, guys, we have the Crane's Echoing Call. It's a signature weapon for it's a signature weapon of Shanian. That's why I put this weapon on number of one because no weapon is better than this weapon. It's having the one of the highest, like the highest base attack in the game is the 741 base attack for a catalyst weapon. Attack percentage having 16.5%, which balance out this weapon if you compare it with the Skyward Atlas. And the refinement ability this is my favorite part. After equipping character hits an opponent with a plunge attack all nearby party members plunging attack deals 20 percent increased damage for 30 seconds when the nearby party members hit opponent with plunge attack they will restore 2.8 energy to the equipping character and energy can be restored this way every 0.7 per second means if you perform a plunging attack with shanian your all nearby party members will gain 28% increased plunge attack damage and uh, for your information guys if you use Shanian's element elemental burst after activating the Shanian's elemental burst you, each and every character in, in your party can perform a plunging attack not only Shao not only Kazwa literally every character after that can perform a plunging attack so if you think that this refinement ability is useless or just made for uh, Kazuha or Shao, that's not true. Because after activating the elemental burst of Shani and you can literally uh, perform plunge attack with each and every character in Genshin Impact. So after activating the elemental burst, after performing a little plunge attack with Shani and you can literally perform plunge attack with each and every character and if you have this weapon equipping on your shiny and you can get increased 28 percent plunging attack and this is just on the refinement ability one and also your shiny and will you know will reach your energy fast every 0.7 seconds so you can actually activate elemental burst of shiny and very fast like literally you can spam the elemental burst of shiny and so this weapon is very very good if you compare with any other character any other weapon because this weapon is unique in, in its own way because it's giving you more energy and more plunge attack damage which uh, like no other weapon can do so if you can like if you have the money or if you have the wishes just go for this weapon because this one is so broken and so good if you are Shao main or Kazuha main uh, this weapon is gonna be truly truly very amazing for your Shao or any other character who can perform a very good uh, amount of damage in plunging attack. Alright guys, that's my list. That's my top 5 list for the Shanian's 5 star weapon. Let me just quickly, you know, revise the list. On 5th five, five, on fifth number, we have the Kagura variety. On 4th, we have the Lost Player to the Sacred Winds. On 3rd, we have the Cashflow Supervision. On 2nd, we have the Skyward Atlas. And on the 1st, we have the Crane's Echoing Call. These all are very good 5-star weapons for Shanian. 
I'm also gonna make a video on the four self weapon for Shinian. So stay tuned for that video. If you like this video, hit the like button. Share your thoughts about the Shinian and Shinian's weapons in the game in the comment section. We'll meet in the next video, guys. Till then, bye bye. Take care.